Welcome back to my channel, guys. It's time for a new manga chapter review. <laughs> that was a fast intro. Sorry about that, guys. Uh, that's going to be on Yang Yangshi X, which is uh, releasing brand new in Shonen Jump. Shonen Jump is going to be, I think, releasing a few new series, and um, this is one of them. Yangshi X is definitely in the. I want to say Chinese side, and I am almost eighty percent sure that that, that, that is correct. I, I I don't usually do a lot of research on these because I want to go head on, just first impression type of deal. But just by the names of the characters, they weren't Japanese. Um, they were very much more Chinese. So I don't know if it's just Japanese created story based on China, or if this is actually a Chinese. Manga. So if you do know, let me know in the comments section. Uh, before anything, guys, if you haven't done so by now, make sure you subscribe to my channel. Give some love by commenting, liking, and sharing. Uh, you guys can check out other manga chapter reviews that I have been releasing and will be releasing here in my channel. Uh, so I'm excited. This one, I don't know. I might give it a chance of actually doing weekly. Uh, I might add it to my repertoire. But uh, up to now... I am a little hooked, but I'm not sure if this is more of a leisure uh, story where I would maybe just read a few chapters here and there ever so often when I'm bored, or if it's something that I actually want to read every week and see what's happening every every single week. So, I don't know. We'll see. Um, so, let's talk about the first chapter. Yangshi essentially is uh, kind of like the evil spirits that uh, roam in this world, and they're by different levels. And uh, we meet our protagonists, and they're actually three of boys who are trained to be Daioshis. And Daioshis are essentially monks that uh, train to get rid of these Yangshis that live in, in our world. Um, they train with level one Yangshis, and, uh, they basically have a bond with each other because they've been training together for five years. Now, one of them, our main character, uh, the other characters are jealous of him because they think that he's training with his father. He leaves at night, and they're like, he's probably training with his dad, and the dad just happens to be one of the big Daioshis in the temple. Um, so they just assume that. Later on, at the very end of the chapter, we find out that he hasn't been doing that. He actually has been doing some private training on his own, particularly in um, focusing and re refocusing his, uh, I guess, energy um, to specific uh, levels. So um, that's what we've seen so far on uh, this chapter, at least in that aspect. Well, the three kids have trained for five years, and it comes the day of finally their test. And essentially, this test defines if they can continue or if they if they are going to be considered dioshis or not. And yeah, and, and and essentially continue because you can't retake the test. Once you've taken the test, you've taken the test, and they tell them what we're what we're going to do is let you guys free the field and you're going to have to fight a Yangshi level two. You've been training with level ones, but we're going to do level two. They also tell them, by the way, whoever defeats him is the person that will uh, become a Daoshi and the other two will have to give up their dream of becoming a Daoshi, will not be able to re retake the test, and will have to live the, leave the village because the village essentially is just for people that are becoming Daoshis. Um, pretty harsh to be honest, but that's the that's the rules they put. Well, tournament starts. They start running in different directions, and the Yangshi attacks one of the one of the side characters, and he basically is poisoned, and everyone's freaking out. He's like. You need to go back to the village. It takes 30 minutes to get there. And if you're not there in 30, if you're not there in 30 minutes, the poison is going to spread. And essentially, you're going to die. So the rules also implemented that if anyone stepped out of the area that they were supposed to be in, they were going to basically forfeit their opportunity to become a Daoshi. And 
our main character and the other character who who are there with with this third third kid who's trying to become a Daioshi, they both decide that that they can't they can't let his friend die. So they're gonna take him to the village, and this means that all three would have to give up their dreams of becoming Daioshis and leave the village. Which, by the way, for the main character, will also mean leaving his dad. Uh, which we find out that he's not his real dad at the end of the episode uh, of, of the chapter. Sorry. But still, you you would he would have to leave his dad, which kind of sucks. Um, so, anyways, they they go and decide to do that. And before they leave, the one that's poisoned says, "You know what?" It also says that if you're able to remove the part that was infected uh, before it spreads, it won't spread. So I'm gonna cut off my arm. And there's just like maybe three pages of them, like, panicking. He's like, I'm going to cut it, I'm going to cut it, I'm going to cut it. And before he cuts it, someone stops him, and it ends up being that the trial was actually what they would do in this particular situation. The Yangshi that attacked him was actually one of one of the Daoshis dressed as a Yangshi, and um, was just there to do the act of poisoning. And, uh, yeah, they all passed because they all essentially were willing to give up their dreams and put their their um, wants and needs at a pause for the sake of someone else. And both all three of them showed that commitment, which then made them pass all the tests. So they all passed, and, uh, yeah, at the end of this chapter... We get this kind of like morbid thing, like they didn't know how dark their life was gonna get by becoming a Daoshi, and then we get um, the this weird dude with the other dude in them saying that he is um, he he's there to essentially come for them, and we don't know what that exactly means, but I guess he's gonna be our uh, enemy villain of the story. Uh, I liked it. I liked the story. It was uh, high paced, a very uh, much a good action based story. Ninety one pages, but I was able to read it pretty fast. Um, some first chapters, I'm not gonna lie, take me two or three sittings because uh, a they're longer, but b uh, they're sometimes boring in the middle, and it's hard to get to that middle part. And this one wasn't like that. It kept me on my toes. Kept me wanting to read more. Uh, so because of that, I'm going to give this one a 7.5. Has a huge potential to do really well. It also uh, could go wrong in the sense of if they rush through so much, so many things. Which, you know, high pace can mean that. But um, I'm hoping that was just the idea of the first chapter. And then they're going to slow it down. So we'll see. For now, 7.5. And we'll see if it goes up or down. But... I think that's what it, is, it deserves for now. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching this. If you haven't done so by now, make sure you subscribe to my channel. Give some love for comments and liking and sharing. And I will see you guys next time. Like always, don't be strangers. See you guys.